South Central Regional Medical Center held a flag raising ceremony in honor of Donate Life Month. Our Keandria Malloy shares the testimonies of people who have been impacted by transplants and how there is a big need for life saving resources right now. The raising of the flag represents all the lives that have been helped or even saved because of a generous donation. It can change somebody's life if you decide to donate. South Central Regional Medical Center partnered with the Mississippi Organ Recovery Agency to honor organ, eye, and tissue donors today. And with the help of those donors, so many lives have been fulfilled at the hospital in 2023. We had actually five donations. We had another uh, eight patients that was, uh, we donated the eyes or tissue and those could affect up to 72 different individuals. Brooke Lilly is one of the saved lives after having a heart transplant as a baby and then a kidney transplant later on as an adult. I just hope that people can hear my story and see how it's given me a whole new life and see what organ donation has done for me. Morrow says more than 100,000 people are on the national waiting list, and unfortunately, 16 Americans die every day waiting on a transplant. At only 16 years old, Charlotte Grayson's son, Joseph, became a donor after a tragic accident, and his tissues have been spread across the state, still living on through others. Well, he's one that would want to help people, and um, for him to keep on helping is great and it lets me know that a piece of him is living on. South Central says it's in major need of kidney donors as well as other organs to help save lives. In Laurel, Keandra Malloy, WDAM7, on your side.